Hey there, welcome to part two of getting started inside of Voltage Modular. Today, we're gonna to be picking up where we left off with our basic subtractive synth patch, and we're going to be adding some modulation and movement to bring this patch to life. In this video, we're also going to be exploring a couple of different ideas that show why a modular synthesizer might be useful instead of a traditional synthesizer with some of the added ideas and options and flexibility that modular synths provide. If you haven't watched part one of this series where we cover all of the basics of building your first patch inside of Voltage Modular and building this subtractive synth patch from the ground, up, feel free to pause this video and come back when you're ready. With that, it is now party time and we have entered the party zone. So what we're going to be doing here is adding a couple bits of modulation and added movement to this patch to make it a bit more expressive and interesting to play rather than just a saw wave that goes wah. One of the first things I think we could do is maybe add a filter envelope. And this is something you've probably done before where we have something that controls the filter opening and closing over time. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the amplifier. We're going to use this envelope generator to then control the filter. Now, while we could use this same envelope generator, I think it might be useful to have a separate envelope generator for this purpose. So I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and then click and drag this envelope generator. And now we've got a second envelope generator we can wire up into the filter. To get the envelope generator working, as you probably would guess, we're going to need to send a new copy of the gate signal to the gate input of the envelope generator. So let's wire that from our CV sources. Now we'll take the positive output of the envelope generator and wire that into frequency mod one of the filter. If we drop our filter cutoff down, we'll add just a medium amount of resonance here and we increase the frequency mod amount We'll shape the envelope to have a decay so that it opens and then closes when we hit a note. We should hear the filter open and then close off over time. Pretty cool stuff, and adding modulation is really that simple. Now, this is certainly useful, but it's not really a groundbreaking idea. Now, what could we do to make this more interesting? In the modular world, as I mentioned in the previous video, we have what's called control voltage, and that is everything flowing through every single one of these cables. And the cool thing with modular synths is that these cables can be plugged in pretty much anywhere, so we can use literally anything as a source of modulation. With a traditional subtractive synthesizer, we may have something very similar to this, where we would have a separate filter envelope and maybe even an LFO to control the filter. But let's do something a little more interesting. I'm going to highlight our entire synth setup here with our oscillator, envelope generator, and amplifier. I'm going to hold Alt, and we'll move that out over here just to keep things nice and separated. And we're actually going to use a synthesizer to modulate the filter. In order to do this, we're gonna to need to wire up our synth again. So first up, let's get our oscillator working by wiring up the pitch. We're going to send our oscillator into our amplifier, and then we're going to need to control the amplifier with our envelope generator. To do that, we're going to need the gate signal once again. We'll feed the positive output into the CV control of the amplifier. And now, instead of wiring this out, what we could do is wire this into frequency mod two of the filter and increase the modulation amount. Let's drop the cutoff even lower and maybe drop this oscillator down an octave. Let's add some attack here so that this oscillator comes in over time. So we'll hear the filter sweep with that decay from the envelope, but then also be affected by the oscillator. And now we've got a really interesting throaty growl to the filter that we can't really do in most traditional synth setups. Now, as another example, let's add some traditional expressions to this synthesizer. Let's maybe add an LFO to control the pitch. That way we can wire this in and have a bit of warble to the pitch over time. In our search bar here, let's search for the mini LFO. We'll grab that and drop that down here. And let's wire the triangle output into the frequency mod of the oscillator. We'll increase the amount here, and now we should hear this oscillator pitch warble over time. <laughs> Let's make it a bit more extreme. And now we've got kind of a crazy, kooky sci-fi effect going on. But the problem is we now have this pitch warble going on all the time. It never stops. So let's use something else to control the amount of pitch warble. To do that, what we could do is grab another amplifier. So I'm going to Alt-click, and I'm going to drag this amplifier down. 
We'll unwire the mini LFO and I'm going to feed the triangle output of the LFO into the input of the amplifier, the output of the amplifier into our frequency mod. And now we're going to use something else to control this amplifier's level. Up to this point, we've always done this using an envelope generator, but again, any source of CV can modify an amplifier just like any source of CV can modify just about anything. A really common way to add vibrato to a synth might be using the mod wheel on your MIDI controller. So I'm going to go up to our CV sources and I can see I have mod wheel right here. Let's drag that down and use that to control the CV amount. With that done, if I play a note here with my mod wheel all the way down, we have a stable, consistent tone. But if we increase the mod wheel, we'll hear the pitch come in over time as we open up that mod wheel. To cap all this off, let's add some pitch bend. So I'm gonna search for the bend limiter here in the library. We'll take the bend output of the CV sources, which is our pitch wheel. We'll bring that into the bend CV in here. We'll leave this at two semitones up and two semitones down. We'll take the output and put that into the pitch CV. Now I should be able to play a note and bend it up and down. As you can hear though, this starts to sound a little bit weird because the oscillator affecting the filter isn't bent as well. So we can actually take the output of this once again by clicking this output jack. We'll take a new output and wire that into the pitch CV of our affecting oscillator for the filter. Now we'll try bending it again. And that sounds a lot more stable and usable. With that, I think we've now successfully built a pretty playable patch. Maybe we can apply a couple of quick tweaks here and now we can give this a play and we should have a pretty decent playable synth lead sound. So we've now got a very playable, usable instrument. We've learned a little bit about some CV ideas and some ways to modulate things, as well as one of the core ideas of modular synthesis being that we can wire up these things in really any way we want in order to harness them for either modulation as a source of sound or something else entirely. We could even use these to generate new gate signals and a whole lot of crazy stuff that's a lot of fun. In the next video, we'll talk about adding some effects to finalize this patch. So that wraps everything up for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.